And now for replay, the game which had not only supporters of the two teams vitally interested, but the whole of Melbourne, and no doubt elsewhere in Australia as well. Well, what's happening in the football capital when Footscray, wooden spooners last year and rarely seen on national television, are appearing on the winners for the third week in a row? It started with their shock defeat of Premier's Carlton in round two, continued last week against Melbourne, and now they came up against the league leaders Hawthorne, who had won all three matches at the start of the season. This is a new look Footscray team, as we've seen recently, but not against Hawthorne, who had won by 129 points last week, and on the Hawks' home ground, this one. Well, Footscray led by 13 points at quarter time, 27 points at half time, but came back to the field to lead by only eight points at three quarter time. The Premiership points were up for grabs in a fantastic last quarter. We pick it up one minute after the last change, and with me are Peter Booth and Jeff Lee. Footscray by goal, Sewell out looking for Purse. Got a push in the back. The umpire was side on beautifully for that. Purser into centre half back. Not much uh, marking foul there for uh, Footscray. McPherson was late on the scene. Robertson into centre half forward, a long sparing kick. Players get tripped up. Matthews got his hand to it, but infringed, and the free kick will go Footscray's way. To be taken by Jim Sewell. Pull back. What a difference in height there between Sewell and Matthews. Sewell was the taller player. Cordy and Robertson had a great duel. Uh, uh, oh, here goes to Wallace, the centre player. Kennedy for uh, Footscray. No one doing any good at this stage. Guanawigan looking too slow. Takes the ball towards the uh, wing. Shot backwards uh, by Knight. Picked up by John Kennedy now for Hawthorne. Wallace nicely across to Williams. This is a good piece of play. Nice pass. A bit long to Priestley. It was as well. Looking for a short play to pick it up. Edmund in front of goal. Bumpire Morrow, Footscray steadying again, Persa wins. Oh, ducked into that tackle, that pass said it was high, and it's Footscray's free kick to Royal. I know so much about that. Tries to get around the man on the mark, grubbers it. Well gathered by Williams, who's got a good pair of hands. Robert Bronawig in the long way out. Out wide to Burton, has to hook it back, Footscray's way. Edmonds there. All Hawthorne down, airs. And support from John Kennedy. Off he goes around the halfback flank. Raritan, oh yes, safe. Kennedy late on the scene with the tackle. It won't be 15 metres. Footscray 10, 15, 75. Hawthorne 7, 21, 63. Raritan to Matthews. Too far out the score. He'll go short, I would say. He thought about Judge. He's going to Buckenara instead. Buckenara plays on. The ball curving back, but it's into the pocket. Hanson, juggler, got it. Isn't that very much a day in that back line uh, for Footscray Hanson? Look after the tall timber in uh, Peyton and Byrne. A long kick, though. Tries to get hold of Neil Cordy. The ball... Uh, 15 metre penalty, which is about 40. The player must have gone over the mark. Jeff, I must admit I missed it. I was following the flight of the ball. So well, he marked on the behind line, and with 15 metres, he's at centre half back. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a huge one. Well, there's Hanson's kick. It's a, he's a long kicker of the football, anyway. Pump out by Byrne. Kick up here by uh, Burton. The kick up to the half forward line for them. Uh, Hawthorne in defence looked good. Russell Green's had a grand game for Hawthorne. Nicely across towards uh, Rodney Eve. Found a soft patch of the ground. It wouldn't bounce for him. Chose pace and dash. Great play. Looking for Perrin because he's a winner at half forward. Perrin was there. Michael Tuck says, me please. And a long kick by Tuck. This scored a behind. Should have kicked that. So he's kicked in a lot of times. Jim Sewell, 22 times. Over centre half back in front, Brereton. Hit him on the face actually. Paddled forward. Socket forward by Mew to Wallace to Russo. Great tackle by Royal. Put him under the hammer, and it goes back to uh, McPherson. He's kicked to centre wing. Kennedy with support from Ede. Good shepherd by Ede to take Ron Wigan out. Kennedy short passes to Robertson. 
Quite a setup for a long spearing kick. Moncrief back on the ground after being off for a, a quarter and a bit. Nothing much happening there. Umpire Morrow will call for a bounce. Umpire Smith, in fact. So Footstray 10 15 75. Hawthorne 7 22 64. The Bulldogs still in front by 11 points. Russo down towards Moncrief. Will that move come off? Not yet. Matthews, strength, Russo. No, it's Wallace, in fact. Wallace has a step shot for goal and puts it through. Five points the difference. Hawthorne have fought back to within five points of uh, Footscray. They were 27 points up, but uh, three-quarter time, the, the Bulldogs. And the Hawks in a mean mood at the moment. Into attack again through Buck Buckenar. Watch that one under his boot as he gets it down to Matthews. Beat for a bit of pace here by Sewell, the fullback. Bad placement there. Footscray will recover okay. Now they fumbled and they're losing possession. A good spot on there by Wallace. Onto Royal. Burn for Hawthorne. Comes in nicely. A wild kick this time. There's two uh, Footscray defenders there. They should mark. And has done through Burn. Right half back for Footscray. Over the wing. Donna Wigan tries to punch to the back. Fumbled by Cordy. Muir. Long kick to centre half forward. Tuck. Goes to the back. Russo tapped for Brereton. Who gets clear? Who's barrel and a magnificent tackle by Brian Cordy. Russo picks up and misses again. A straight kick would have put them in front. Russo, one goal, three. Is it just four points in it? Sewell. Out wide to Purser. Tuck in front. Purser late on the scene. No one can get it. Perrin going off. Love coming on. Free kick. Versus free kick far side. Looking for McKenna. Courageous mark. 15 metres for that. Yes. McKenna will get a fly. Plays on. Dummies beautifully. Sells the dummy. A long spearing kick to Beasley. Royal. No Edmund off the pack. Good bounce. Lines up. Fires for goal. He's kicked it. Ten points. What a game. A chance for Footscray to score. Love almost had it spent, but it uh, got deflected from him. Kennedy. View. Up to Purser. Oh, big grab. Too slow. Not enough to push in the back. Well, it's a hard decision to make, isn't it? No, it's going the other way, isn't no. it? No. He's just uh, Umpire Smith directing traffic. A short pass to nobody. Hello, there's going to be Beasley. Beasley got a facial tackle 25 metres out from goal. Nobody saw it except the umpire, the second umpire. And Beasley will get the free kick right in front. And the umpiring has, for the most part of the day, been advantageous to the other dogs, which brave. Beasley, free score. He's kicked it. on again. Bird lost his mouth guard in a, a pushing match with Beasley. At the 11 minute mark in the final term, Beasley uh, took a free kick right in front of goal to kick his fourth goal to give them a lead of 16 points. A great situation to be in. Hawthorne, not to be denied, come out of it. Puts great defending strongly. Hand drawing out nicely. This is good stuff. Wallace it is in the centre play to the half forward line. Moore takes the mark at centre half back for Hawthorne getting callers from all over the field at this stage. Goes for a lead in the centre there from Bacanara. Bacanara is a boy they need to fire. In the middle, the long kick, Bacanara down to Matthews and Byrne and Payton. Was it Moncrief at this stage? Picks up, gives it to the man running through in Schwab. Schwab, a look, quick look and a kick. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. Lovely goal. Umpire Morrow in the centre. Byrne wins. Peyton, the other ruckman, is pacing up and down the boundary line on the bench. Burton for Footscray gets it forward. Williams. McPherson, 43, to McKenna. Up to full forward. Here's great mark under pressure. Like if it had slipped past him, it could have been dangerous with Beasley just sweating on him. And a 15-metre penalty to Jeff Ayres. Gets a fly into centre half back, up over the centre, looking for Brereton. Keller, yes, being paid the mark. Jim McKenna's done some great work for Footscray today, and the horde beside him. On the left-hand side, you can't see, but players running past for the hand pass. Up to Edmund, 
Second in line, didn't get it. Down to Royal, support, gets it from Wallace. That's Footscray's Wallace. Side steps nicely, boots the ball in towards full forward. Love is there. Beasley, second bite, doesn't get it. Moore out to Mew. Oh, it's all Footscray. Neil Cordy, he's off and running. Side step, running to centre half forward. Fires, and he has kicked it. That's his second goal. And the Footscray supporters going mad here at the Princess Park. It's been a slashing last quarter at Princess Park and Footscray showing stark quality. Four goals coming from them, two kicked in this quarter by Jim Edmund. And they're showing a really talent, talented performance here. Brian Corey this time, his brother's been starring as well, that's Neil. Down to the half forward flank, oh, up and over the first, and what a great mark. Nope. It's uh, a hold up of play, but a great attempt there by 43, which was McPherson. Can Hawthorne get back? Well, we played 15 minutes of uh, football. 77 to 93. A breakaway by Wallace for Footscray. Taken by Tuck. Quickly backwards towards Russo. He breaks away from the pack. Kicks the ball up towards a half forward flank. Good position there by Perrin. Knocked away from him. Desperate defence there by Loveridge. Matthews in trouble. Too slow, Jeff. Holding the ball against Lee Matthews and the free kicks are now 37 to 24 in favour of Footscray. 16 minutes into the last quarter. Gronowig and number 14. Took the ball over the line. Footscray lead 13-15 to Hawthorne 9-23. Footscray heading towards their third successive victory and two of their scalps, Carlton and Hawthorne, last year's finalists. Last quarter in progress, just on 17 minutes played. Byrne gets it down, Footscray play grabbed uh, over the neck. Wallace. In towards centre half forward. Oh, Edmund got up high. Chance for Footscray now. They try and move the ball forward. They do, in fact. McPherson still playing it on. It's going to be Hawthorne's free kick. Swab. Into Russo. Could be dangerous. McKenna the spoil. On to Royal. Royal over the top to Grunner Wigan. Grunner Wigan to Beasley. Now he goes for the kick. Is it safe? Has he done the right thing? He has! 16 minutes through the final term. Footscray have had a five goal uh, to two goal quarter. They're running away, 77 to 99. Tuck trying to do everything he can do uh, in that centre. Footscray with a task ahead of them at this, uh, Hawthorne rather, a task ahead of them at this stage. Ball up the centre. Players coming from everywhere, jamming it up. Purser, nicely over the top. Williams is uh, West Australian teammate. McKenna. Wallace. It's, Love. it's Love rather, not Wallace. They're looking good under pressure. Footscray Edmund, who was great in this quarter, having kicked a couple of goals, takes it over the line. But it's in Footscray's forward line. He takes a push in the back. He'll take the free kick from 50 metres out. Edmund centres the ball. Chance there for Royal at the back. Williams pulled off his kick. Kelvin Moore. Hawks trail by 22 points. Moore under pressure towards the outer side, and he'll get support there from Robertson. Well, Hawthorne in this quarter haven't managed a goal, and uh, Footscray have done particularly well against them. Come back to that in a moment. Hawthorne uh, have got a couple, and now uh, they bring it up towards the centre, and it's a Footscray mark. And under pressure, whereas in past years Hawthorne may have wilted, they're not this year. Green at centre half back. Up to half forward. Tuck for the crumbs. Or back an hour to push in the back. No, it's not being played. Hand pass from first round to Sewell. Sewell goes out to Perrin. Might slow it down a bit now. 18 and a half minutes played. They lead by a handy 22 points. Four straight kicks by uh, Hawthorne. Good spearing kick has the pack going backwards. Kennedy and Byrne. Kennedy still running the wrong way. Has a look. Matthews calls for it, but he's going towards Loveridge and Tuck. And Tuck wins on the far side wing. 15 uh, metres for slowing up, as I mentioned. Actually, uh, 15 metres was about seven. 
Well, that kick comes down to a stretching arms of uh, Terry Wallace, their centre player, who's now on, on the half-forward flank. Across to Michael Byrne. Oh, nice mark, Byrne. His great long arms and long body is telling factors at this stage, but they desperately need goals. They're trailing 77 to 99. That's a heck of a way behind. I need four goals. Can Byrne steer this one through? He only kicked one so far. That's a nice kick from Byrne. And that's his second goal. And brings him up to 83 to 99. Burn go Burns goal brings it back to a 16-point deficit. Footscray have scored five straight in the last quarter. The three goals, four of Hawthorne. Out of the centre, McPherson. Chance here for Footscray. Royal running in the same direction as the ball. Pots for goal and has missed. But what a courageous mark. Kelvin Moore, little tap kick to himself. Gains about 10 metres. Out to Judge, half volley, awkward. Burton tackles over his back. It's got to take the free kick, Judge. Just over 20 minutes played in this last quarter. Footscray, 14, 16, 100. Hawthorne, 10, 23, 83. Payton in front. Recovers nicely. Plenty of agility for a big fellow. In towards half forward. Matthews, Hawthorne's only bet. The mark taken by Perrin at centre half back. Hanson leading for it. He might go for someone more mobile. Yes, he is. He's going for Grunner Wigan, in fact. He's about second in line. He's got to punch the ball away. Try to from Robertson, who's been paid the mark. Gee, he really tried, didn't he? Robertson, wide of centre, on the attacking side of centre. Moncrief leads. He's going deeper than Moncrief. In fact, it's going to be Matthews who will contest. No, he's looking for the crumbs. The mark being paid. No, being claimed by Hawthorne, but not being paid by Empire Morrow. A little bit of back chatting going on there. Byrne thought it was his. Well, Footscray by 17 points. Clock showing 22 minutes in this last quarter. 83 to 100. Footscray in front. Hawthorne with a chance through uh, Terry Wallace. Quickly onto Bacanara. Pull off his shot. Picked up by Wallace. A shot for goal by Terry Wallace. But Footscray, two of them in defence, and do it very comfortably. Killer it is with the ball. Has a look. Oh, he's run a good 50 metres. A good oh. piece of defensive play. He's run too far. And the free kick goes Footscray's way. I think Michael Tuck should take it. He will. Well, Tuck may not be able to bring up the distance, which is a rough guide as to how far Kellett ran with it. But he's a big kicker of the ball. It's coming back a bit. Just offline for a behind. Three goals the difference. Three straight kicks Hawthorne need to get level. Footscray 100, Hawthorne 84. Tuck's third behind. And uh, Lee Matthews... It'll be a 15-meter penalty to the fullback Sewell. Lee Matthews was too close to the kickoff line. So a handy break for Footscray. Now Sewell, Edmund calling for it. Now he's going wider, up towards Cordy. Williams for the crumbs if needed. And Robertson nearly stole it from both of them. Williams grabbed, couldn't get rid of it. And there'll be a ball up. Just beyond the point of the square. I'm interested to see that there's a very excited spectator in front of us who's Tony Capes, the Footscray president. He's on the steps here in the outer, and he's bitten every nail down to his elbow. Footscray 100, Hawthorne 84. Clock ticking by, almost 24 minutes. Kick by Byrne, in towards the pocket. Sewell and Matthew. Sewell, very calmly, very casually, methodically, runs the ball over and out. Just about into the extra time period, final term. Hawthorne's forward line, Byrne gets up nicely. Can't find a rover. Taken by opposite rover in McKenna. The ball lands in the centre. Over the head of the pack, deliberately, of course. A chance now for Neil Cordy. He's played well. Across to Love. Love puts his foot on the gas, goes back the other way, looking for Beasley. Kicks it a bit long. There's two teammates there, and it's the slow moving Bonner Wigan who's kicked one in this quarter. Coming in for his second. It's a long, straight kick. A 22-point lead into the extra time period, final term, and they have plenty to laugh about. The clock ticks towards time on. I don't know whether Hawthorne can catch up. 22 points. They need four straight kicks in the centre, and umpire Kevin Smith calls for it again, and there'll be another ball up. The Bulldogs by 22 points into time on by a minute. 
Titan. Tuck. Up towards Matthews, who's hobbling. That's the best way to describe his performance. Russo. In towards Moncrief. He sets himself about fourth in line. Burton. Good clearing kick. Half volley drop for Schwab. It favours Love. They can't do a thing wrong now. Love. In towards the centre. Gets a call from Cordy. Drops a bit short towards uh, Robertson. On to Payton. Payton's long kick. A proper one, but it covers a fair amount of territory. Up towards Matthews. Off the pack is Wallace. Open goal. Stabs it through. Hawthorne's 11th goal. Hawthorne 11, 24, 90. They still trail by 16 points at the 27-minute mark in this quarter. And in a switch grade by 16 points. Wallace has just kicked his second goal for the quarter. Payton puts him into attack through and Wallace again. Into the arms there of Judge. Nice handball to Robertson. Look at him go. Good shot by Robertson. Another goal. The Hawks can get back. 11 goals kicked in the quarter, so there'll be quite a deal of time on. And Hawthorne's two goals in a minute certainly give them a chance with time left. Brereton at centre-half forward. Grab will take the free kick. Things going Hawthorne's way a bit, and could they get it get up in the last gas? Brereton at centre half forward, dropping a bit short. Matthews Russo. Oh, they might have spoiled one another. They did in fact. Out to Perrin, clearing kick. It doesn't matter where it goes. Out towards Love, overran it. Clock still ticking by. Kennedy, he'll go direct. He's got to. In towards full forward. They'll all go up and try and mark this one off the pack. A chance for Russo. Kick was partly smothered. Taken away again by Footscray. They're playing it well. Schwab. A short kick in towards centre half forward. Loveridge. Oh, had a fit of the fumble to the crucial stage. Williams goes in. Tries the soccer. McKenna legged. Should have got the free kick, but he won't. There'll be a, a ball up at centre half forward. But valuable time wasted by Footscray. The clock showing 29 and a quarter minutes played. Footscray 106, Hawthorne 96. Purser looking good. Footscray showing up well under pressure in the back line. Doing everything right. Another clear out there by uh, umpire Kevin Smith. 20 players around this bounce. Hawthorne's half forward line as Peyton gets in position. Knocks the ball well. Picked up by, uh, by Hermes. Is Kennedy? It is. The free kick coming back. Not to Kennedy, to Purser for an infringement in the ruck. He's taking all the time in the world because he knows it's almost uh, 30 minutes gone in this final term. Good kick by Purser to half forward. Knocked to the back. Chance for Footscray. Edmonds kicked two goals at the back of a pack in this last quarter. Could come up for a third. He's got it. Out to Love. Snap for goal. <laughs> the sealer. Footscray by 16 points. And they kicked another one before the end and defeated the league leaders Hawthorne by 21 points. A cracking last quarter there in which Footscray managed eight goals to five to extend their lead in the last term. For a Footscray, Beasley kicked four, Edmund and Gronawigan each three, Williams and Cordy two apiece. For Hawthorne, two each to Matthews, Brereton, Wallace and Byrne. And now to the results of the other games. And St Kilda jumped Geelong in the first quarter and at that stage their controversial moves to play uh, two players that they just got this week were paying off. There'll be a lot of people in league football who won't be disappointed to see that Geelong came back and won it by 11 points. For Geelong, Terry Bright four, Cole three, Lenahan kicked two and for St Kilda, Mark Jackson kicked four, two apiece to Mace Lockett and the new boy Silvio Faschini. And Fitzroy defeated the Swans, the Swans having a dreadful trot in the last three games, they've kicked five goals, five goals, and now six goals. Fitzroy beat them by 73 points after adding nine goals to two in the last quarter. Conlon kicked five, McMahon four, O'Reilly and Quinlan each two. And for the Swans, the former Fitzroy player, Braddy, kicked two goals. And Carlton had to struggle to defeat Melbourne at the MCG. Carlton by nine points after the Demons had led for the first two changes. But it was a seven goal to two third quarter by the Blues uh, which largely won them the game. For Carlton, new players Gilmore and Cook Amelis kicked three goals, Bazasto and Mark Buckley each kicked two, and for Melbourne, Giles, Healy and Bamblett each kicked three goals. And in the final game, North Melbourne defeated Richmond after making a slow start, and so last year's grand finalists, Richmond, have lost all four games. Richmond led by 26 points at quarter time, 10 at half time, and then North started to wear them down and won it by four goals. For North Melbourne, Schimmelbush 5, Hodgman and Demetrio each 3, Fury, Jim Cracker and Jonas each 2. 
and for Richmond, Bartlett kicked five, Wiley three, and Roach also kicked three goals. So let's take a look at the league ladder now after all teams have completed four matches. The only unbeaten team is Geelong out there in front. They haven't got the best percentage, but they're four points in front. Fitzroy up into second place. Hawthorne with their defeat dropped from first to third. North Melbourne in fourth place. Last year's Premier's Carlton by percentage only in the five after their three wins from four games. Footscray, despite three wins in succession, still outside the five. And the big spenders, Essendon and Collingwood, uh, well, Essendon uh, uh, in seventh place, but the big spenders Collingwood and Melbourne, each with only one win from their four games and two games out of the five. Also with them, the Sydney Swans, and they're really struggling. Look at their percentage, 51 only. And down on the bottom, Richmond and St Kilda, who have yet to open their account, both no points from their four matches. Alan Stadium now has a chance to put the ball deep into attack for the Bombers. In towards Merritt. Oh, tremendous mark. Lost by Walsh. Regained again. Gary, Gary Shaw loses it. Strong play, Michael. Go again, which he will. Out wide it goes towards Thompson. Thompson will have a long one down to the pocket. And Alan Stadium. Oh, good mark. Terry Danaher. Hawke has had a huge quarter. Williams, Shaw, Tony, after Richardson, quiet player today. Fellows, awkward kick but finds Hanbury. This will be his 11th kick. He really started the match with a bang. Goal on by right on the job, and Hanbury steers it through nicely for his second. Collingwood perhaps just getting a bit of wind in their sails. Shaw, Gary, well tackled by Watson. And Watson wins the free. Outstanding game from Watson. And what a pass. Bettison's kicked one. The angle's tight, the distance isn't great. Looks good. Having a move, Nagel, who's been a uh, pretty effective player today for the Bombers. Down towards Thompson, number 34 there. That's as well. Thompson in the side of the last minute to replace uh, Cameron Clayton. Moves the ball quickly to Grant Fowler on the Bombers half forward line, now it's into the full forward zone, they're deep into attack here, coming up by Dennis Banks, Weston has a chance, hand pass to Bellison, three goals to Bellison. Um, well, here's the man who's had the really bad day, whoopsie, he might get a go. Kick. he doesn't, out to Keith, left foot snap and rams it, brilliant piece of play, Burn hand passes out, Carey, Carey boots it out, We're in front is Weston, nice spoil, Thump by Merritt. Out to Hawker. The long kicking Glenn will give it out to Fowler. Fowler steadies himself, shoots for goal. High, straight, and handsome. That's his third. Kennedy, number eight. Out wide, taken by Kellett. Kellett's long kick up towards Edmund. Great mark, Jim Edmund. It's set a half forward. Against McPherson, Ayres. Up looking for Bacanara. Oh, great mark. Wallace, Hawthorne's Wallace chips in, half distance kick. That's Wallace of uh, Footscray, onto Egan, hand pass out, oh, the ball looks good, onto McKenna, McKenna up towards Beasley, Beasley! Nice handball of Wallace, not a bad pass either, a bit too long for Moncrief, but not too long for Sewell, a good dummy there, on the half forward line now, with a long kick down to centre half forward, oh, here's! I don't know uh, which side will suit better the wet weather, Almost a one-hander. Beasley a chance, gets around a man on the mark. Quickly across to Williams, a shot the goal, and it's straight through in great wet weather football. Second quarter, 19 minutes gone. Footscray still leading by 48 points to 29. They're hanging in there, Grunner Wigan, about fourth in line. Off the pack, Williams, over the top to Edmund. Kennedy close on his hammer support. No, he doesn't need it. He's going towards Knight. Knight can run on. Oh, he could have kept going. He decides to now. Screws it in towards uh, McPherson. McPherson, oh, he hovered in the air. Almost brought it there. Good tackle by Beasley. Open goal. Royal. There it is. He slams it home. Footscray's eighth goal. Kennedy picks up four and Footscray pops around right towards the wing, but foot Hawthorne again through that man. Dark look, Chuck. He's been great today, something like his seventh kick for the quarter, 16 kicks for the match, and a very useful ruck rover. 
fine kick down to Michael Byrne, is it? Or, uh, any... oh, what, a mark. what a great mark to a uh, big person. He plays on. And now to the leading goal kickers. Uh, Mike Moncrief of Hawthorne spent quite a time on the bench and didn't add to his total of 18 goals. Uh, Bernie Quinlan kicked two for a total of 16. Terry Bright four for his 15. Beasley also four and Jackson four to both go to 14 for the season. Glenn Hawker of Essendon five for his total of 13. Brian Taylor didn't play this week for 12 for the season. And the last three on 11. Elshaw got one this week. Mark Buckley two and Michael Conlon got five for Fitzroy. Well, now to our awards for the week. And firstly, mark of the day. Well, Hawthorne lost their lead on the ladder, but they've unearthed a homegrown star. Former schoolboy champion Dermot Brereton kicked off his league career in the finals last year with five goals in his first match. He's carried that form into this season with skills like this. Kick by Mew up to the centre. Purser is there with Pete. Oh, no, no, huge leap at the back by Brereton who drags down an absolute screamer. A split round next weekend for the Anzac Day weekend. In fact, there are matches to be played over three days of the weekend. Two on the Saturday, and Carlton play Fitzroy, both teams in the five, and uh, uh, that's a big game on the Saturday. And Collingwood play Hawthorne also on the Saturday, and Collingwood need to start getting their winning game going. On Sunday, the one game in Sydney, the Swans play St Kilda at the Sydney Cricket Ground, but will it go on? Will the Swans play them? And three games on the Monday, Essendon meet North Melbourne at VFL Park, Richmond play Footscray, which wouldn't be a top game in past years because you wouldn't put Footscray in there, but this year it's probably Richmond's fault that it's not uh, a major game, and Geelong play Melbourne. So three games, uh, or games on three days next weekend. Well, we're doing things a bit differently this week. As we close the program, our play of the day and the goal of the day come in the one passage of football. Setting up the goal is Essendon rover Tony Bahaja with a solid punch of the ball and a fantastic shepherd for a man of his size. As the ball travels onto Essendon's forward line, another young star from Dimboola, Wayne Bedison, caps it off with a left foot snap. And in the closing titles, well, Footscray are no longer the underdogs. They're top dogs, and every fan and her dog should know it. A free kick for Kerry against Williams. It was not to be. Nicely done, Madden again. Brilliantly out to Carey. Carey then back downfield. You can come hard in here. Well, well played behind you. Brilliant football. Danaher nearly as good. Out wide to Nagel. Nagel's up. He can have a shot for goal. Merritt. All Essendon. And they crash into each other through Fowler. Nicely put. And picked. As the siren went by Benison for a goal.